what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in today's video i'm going to simply be on a strategy call with one of my one of my clients that i brought aboard probably almost three years ago um starting them off at, if you've been following me for a while on my channel I, I talk about how i start off social media clients right um step one customizing their their links they're they're getting their getting their social media platforms optimized um, that's what i call step one and then step two is running a like ad because god knows every single one of you that have a facebook business page have 200 likes so normally that's the first ad that i'll run for a client is the like ad and then help them you know um, optimize their social social media links so this is a client of mine that I helped with that a few years ago now. Um, she was in California, then moved to Texas recently, and now is 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 retaking her, her real estate exam to, to get licensed in the state of Texas because of the, the licenses are per state. So now she's reaching back out and saying, David, I got this listing. I got I got more, 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 more listings on the way. How do we start running these Facebook ads to capture leads? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just educate her and just kind of show her a few things about custom audiences, custom conversions, how important the pixel is, how important landing pages are. I'm going to kind of go over all that, which which she does know, because we talked about that. I normally talk about that on, on our first call, right? I'm planting the seed on the very first call. I'm let, letting my client know, hey, this is what we're going to do first, but what's next? Here's all the stuff that's required that, 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 that has to come next, right? Pixel, landing page, custom audiences, conversion ads, right? So that's kind of she kind of knows knows that, but it's been a little, it's been a while. It's been, it's been, it's been at least a couple years since I spoke to her. And so now I'm gonna get her on the line right here and just kind of see what she's working with, um, see what what her goals are and and really see if I can if I can help her proceed with really educating her on Facebook advertising for her real estate business. Okay, so give me one second. I will bring out bring on Heather out of Texas, um, crushing it, about to get her license, and I'm so proud of her. So give me one second, you guys, I'll be right back. Hi, Heather. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, how are you? What's up, Heather? I am good. How are you? Doing good, thank you. Good, good, good. Out there in Texas, huh? How's it going? Yes, it's been really good so far. Just been doing the mom thing and summer. And... <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, your summer has to suck though, right? Doesn't Texas, isn't that weather pretty bad? Like when it's it comes hot. to summer or, or even winter, right? It gets hot and then winter it gets freaking cold. Well, it's, it's humid. And I guess the thing about Texas weather is you never know what you're going to get. So it's a surprise all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sunny one day, raining the other day, but it's okay. We need the rain. So, but your cost of living had to, had to have dropped, right? Yeah. We purchased a house about the same amount that we had in Manteca. Uh -huh. So, um, it's about a thousand square foot more. It's less, less, um, backyard space but mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. it's a great community it's it's an hoa community but we really enjoy it and all the neighbors are nice so that's something i really haven't been used to <laughs> what part of texas where are you at i'm in wiley texas which is um right about closer to dallas see you you left at such a amazing time like you left before all the bs you know started in cali oh, yeah. my wife and i we want out so bad like I have a 13 year old here from my previous wife and I'm, I'm with him 50, 50. So I have to stay for him, like at least another five years until he hits 18 and then, and then right. I'm out. But if it wasn't for that, my wife and I, we have two little babies now, but we yeah. would have left, like we would have left, we would have, we would have went to Texas. We would have went to maybe Florida, but, um, both yeah, of my kids were in school last year, both in person. So what's that? Both of my kids were in person school last no year. No way. No way. Yeah. My son kind of missed the whole year. Yeah. It was crazy, but you know, it's Texas is so much more of a freer state. I don't know if it's because it's more um, red than blue. If yeah. That makes yeah. It, it's definitely the laws there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's good for, sure. for you guys, man. Good for you guys. Cause we, I mean, it's like kids started back to school this week and they're wearing masks. Mm -hmm. They're wearing yeah, masks. I think they're optional this year for the kids here. Over there? A mask, yeah. Oh man, if it's optional, I'm sure everyone's taking it off, but. Oh, probably. Yeah, over here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just crazy. 
So what are you up to? What's up with business? What do you, what do you got going on? Well, um, I still, I renewed my license for California. So I'm active in California through 2025 until I renew again. Mm -hmm. So I, I do currently have, um, I just helped a buyer close on a house in Modesto and I have a listing in Manteca that's open. And my, my ultimate goal from before I even left was mm -hmm. to get my Texas license as well. Mm -hmm. That way I can have both Texas and California. But it's been taking me a lot longer just with life and kids and yeah, everything. Oh, yeah. So um, I'm, I'm in my fourth course right now out of six for Texas. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I get that, I'm had you, you know, on my mind to hire you and to help me get, you know, broadcasted out here, even though I do know, you know, people here, but, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just need that, you know, broader. Yeah. You know, and, and it's really just creating that omnipresence. That's what that's what this is really all about. Like a lot of a lot of people try to run, whether it's an agent or any other type of you know small business owner. A lot of type of a lot of a lot of the times people will run one, two, maybe three ads. But when you really, really when you really understand this stuff, it's creating a machine. Like it's it's running ads constantly and retargeting those who are actually engaging running retargeting ads in the future to people who watch previous videos or maybe people who have clicked on certain web pages and you're retargeting so when you're retargeting and and, and constantly re-showing yourself it creates this omnipresence and it, and and it makes you stand out like a little bit so it's, it's crazy like it's really really stupid effective crazy like it makes you look like the queen of real estate because you're everywhere everywhere someone whenever someone pulls up their instagram they see you in the newsfeed Whenever right. they pull up your your their Facebook, they see you in the newsfeed. Like it creates this this branding effect that's unlike anything else. Like you yeah. can't do it offline any any other way. You right. know, so but I've but, definitely declined, you know, on my online presence. But right now my main focus is it takes one second to get it back. Like right. don't even worry. It takes literally yeah. one one second. Like and, and that's why one hundred percent of me just my 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 just my 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 professional opinion it's all about ads it's not about anything else like it's not about anything else if we're if we're farming a a, a local area mm -hmm. social media posting none of that stuff it's not about any of that stuff it's all about running a facebook ad to my local area mm -hmm. so <clears throat> you can you can run an ad and and be seen by the entire community by tonight like that's how crazy effective you know it ad versus organic and that's why I was, you know, curious about my ad because my listing went live last Friday. Share right? your screen. Let, let's look at it real quick. Go to your business page. Is it on, is it on the business page? The, How do the I post? share my screen? See if you can click that green button below oh. in, the, in the Zoom window here. Does that work? Yeah, perfect. So you can close out this one. This window doesn't need to be open. <clears throat> but you can, um, yeah, this, this post attendee Zoom, you could just X out of the tab. And then just go to Facebook. Okay. Because that's, you know, I, I've noticed that it's been getting a lot of um, clicks. And I actually um, yesterday did a like a little slideshow and promoted it as well. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, I'm not getting any calls. And so, I mean, this is yeah. like one of my higher price ones at 790000 mm -hmm. So, um, where do I go? Oh okay, God. so you can you can you can um just click on page at the top left, um yeah page and then it'll bring us to the home page. So right here, so actually and view it in in visitor view. Right here, you're you're viewing it in admin view. So when you click your little your little profile picture to the right of the blue promote button, click on that and then hit the next one down. Heather, yeah, go to the next one. Heather, yeah, that one. And then this allows you to just view it like a visitor would, and that you know, it deletes all this other stuff at the top. So now, now you're seeing it how I would see it. Okay. Right. So now, um, <clears throat> so is it, is it that one right there? Yeah. How do okay. I go to my, where it do my ads or whatever? You can um, open up a new tab. Yeah. Hopefully you're running out of, out of your ads manager and then go back to Facebook. Oh yeah. The ad manager. Yeah. One. And then you could just click on you can just click on to the left. You'll see either ads manager or you'll see um, business manager. Click on see more right below watch to the left. Actually, no, go back. It's it's that see more 
Um, so if you click on the home at the top, the little house icon at the top in the middle of the page, the very mm -hmm. top, just go back to your home. Yeah, that one. So to the left, you'll see, see more. Okay. Did, yeah, right there. So to the left, click on see more and then we should see either ads manager. Yeah, there's ads manager. So click on ads manager. Are you running it from here or did you just boost a post? I did it from my Facebook page. Okay, yeah. So it's kind of, that's kind of like boosting a post. I'm going to show you how how it needs to be ran. Like and I we should see it right here. So five yeah, so five link clicks. Okay. So here's what I want you to really and I'm going to teach you what to do in the, in in, in the, on this call. Like I'm going to just simply point out what what should be done um, and what needs to be done. Um <clears throat> So now right here where there's there's these three tabs, right? Three levels to, to an ad. You have campaign, you have ad sets, which is that middle tab, and then you have ads to the very right. So right here, we're in campaigns. This is where you choose the objective. Um, and then also choose the special ad category, which is housing in your case. So right below the title, you have post, check out this new listing, click on edit. Let me see what um, objective you're in. So right below the title. Right here. Yeah. Check out this new listing, the title of of the of the ad of the of the campaign. Oh, wait, wrong one. Yeah, X out of this one and just go right where the yeah right there. You see edit right below. So click on edit. Okay. Okay. So this this just kind of shows where or what you're you're running. So housing perfect, and then traffic. Okay, cool. So you're running a traffic campaign. Traffic. And, and so let so let's X out of this so now that I know you're running traffic and then you're and then you have that CBO on which which it should be it should be it should be off the this the um no not that one not that one let me just um uncheck the box to the left let me just kind of explain these different objectives click the green button create so as you click on create and in these objectives come up you went with traffic traffic is 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 for traffic like exactly what it says here is exactly what it's for so traffic is going to get you clicks so that five click it will increase like because that's the whole objective of the ad is is traffic to get people to click but that's all you're that's all you're asking for so you're just you're asking for traffic you're asking for people to see the ad click on it that's what i'm asking for but on that's the bottom, not on the second ad there's been 835 Clicks. Yeah, link clicks. Yep. And is that traffic as well? I'm not sure. Let let's me... let's let's look at that one real quick. So just check the box to the left or click on edit. Yeah, you can click on edit from there. Yes. Traffic. So this is traffic. Okay, cool. So X out in the in the right there at the top, X out. So with this one, you're spending it's it's all about the budget, first of all. It's all about the the the, the 100 versus the 25. That's the mm -hmm. biggest difference. Right. But what I'm saying, click on the green button again. So what I'm saying is that traffic is for those that have that for sure have some type of landing page and that and that landing page is really, really, really designed to convert because the moment a person clicks, you're running traffic, the moment someone clicks and they land on that page, that page better be so enticing where that person just wants to enter their name and email. And with the listing, I would for sure think it, it is, right? Everyone's looking to buy and, and everyone's having a hard time with bidding, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, I would think for sure that page, and we'll look at the page, but I would I would think for sure people would, would, would want to engage and maybe even proceed and enter their name and email or whatever. But at the same time, that's not that type of ad. That's my point. Traffic is not the lead ad. You're looking for leads. It's not traffic. Okay. Okay. So anyone looking for leads, it would be it would be lead generation if you don't have a landing page. X out of this part. Yeah, go right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Right here. Okay. If a person doesn't have no go back and pull hit the green button, stay right there on the objectives real quick. If a person doesn't have a landing page, you can go with lead generation and just use use Facebook's form, right? But if you do have a landing page, you need to be going with conversions. That would give you your leads. Okay. So in this case, all you're doing is you're choosing the wrong objective, which 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 it's not traffic. It's not traffic. So go back to your 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 post on your business page. Click so on the um this one or no, click on the actual um go to your Facebook page, the other tab at the top. And then click on the um yeah, that one. 
click on the actual ad. So click on call now. Where does that take you? Make a call from FaceTime. Okay, so you're just you're just making them. Okay, so you're forced. You're you're directing them straight to call from from FaceTime. Okay, so sure. if that's the strategy, then what yeah. you what you could have done, or what you should have done, what you should have done is in the actual ad. Watch, go back, go go to the ads manager. Let's 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 go into the ad. In the ad, it gives you the, or ad or I should say in the ad set level. Again, there's three tabs: campaigns ad sets, ads. Check the box, X out of here. Sorry, I don't know why it's doing, okay. Check the box and then click on the middle tab, ad sets. In the ad set level, and then let's edit this one. So under the title, click on edit. In the ad set level, you can choose to only run the ad to people on mobile and people that have an iPhone. So if that was your strategy, was it, if that was your strategy to get them to click and call now, is that only for FaceTimers? What if no. I don't have an iPhone? That's that. It wasn't all for. I don't know why it, it set up for just FaceTime. I have. Oh, no gotcha, choice. gotcha. Okay, okay. Because yeah. that would have been misleading if I clicked and then I have an Android and I can't FaceTime you, right? Right. right. So so if it is a FaceTime feature, then then you you could just go. And target watch scroll down if you scroll down you go to um you go to edit placements um it's scroll down yeah see so right here you did edit placement but then also select all placements that so okay so it's not that one you went all devices so right there at the top of, of, above platforms up a little higher right there all devices so if you hover over that you edit you can choose to only run that ad to mobile um yeah hit the drop down so you can go just mobile, right? If it was a, if it's some type of FaceTime feature, which I don't know if it is, but it said FaceTime. I don't know. I'm, I, I was just trying to get them to call me and, and for more yeah. information or to set up an appointment for. Uh, yeah, a, yeah, for sure, for sure. So if anything, yeah, scroll down. Let's look at the um. Let's look at the targeting. So we went, we went, edit placement. You went, yeah, you edited the different placements and then scrolled down. Let's look at the actual. So you got cost control. Okay, so you're optimizing for link clicks. Okay, so go up. And what about the targeting? So you're targeting, it should be above this part, above all the check marks. Yeah, so you went manual placement and then languages up. You went 18 to 65, which you cannot change. Yeah, right here, go down a little bit. So the locations and then the detailed targeting. So you went with all of those different keywords and then, okay. So if anything, it's just, it's, it's the, and then, so now let's look at the third tab. So right there, right there above the word, above 18, the age 18 to the left, you have these three, those three dots. Click on that third, what that third row down. So it's right next to the, yeah, right there. Click on that one. This is the third tab. So this brings us to, to the actual ad. Um, and, and let me see this link, this call now feature. So click, yeah, get rid of the, the, the quick, yeah, get rid of that part, the quickly du duplicate, duplicate, copy, delete, get rid of, click out of that part. Click on me, Yeah. I'm trying to click to get it out, but it won't. Oh, it's kind of stuck. Yeah. That's hmm. weird. So can we scroll oh, down yeah. and see that, um, learn more button or the site or the call now button? Why is this not going away? So you went call now and there's there's the phone number. Okay, gotcha. Okay, perfect. So then <clears throat> and and that's a video or a, you said a slide a slide a slide deck. Yeah, that one was just a slideshow. That one was just my little my little one. My biggest one was the hundred dollar one that mm -hmm. yeah. I'm there, but. Hmm. So are those two different ads or that's one ad? Two different ads. Two different listings. So let me go back over here um, to, do I go to account overview? Let me go back, hold on. Yeah, I did two separate ads. One was a video ad for call more and the other mm -hmm. one was um, just listed. Here, here's what I would do, Heather. Here's what I would do. 
since there's no landing page, because that's the ideal objective, conversions. To capture a lead, that's that's the, the, the most ideal objective that you want to go with when a person has a landing page. Since you don't have a landing page, what I would do is I wouldn't do call now. I wouldn't do call now. I would do engagement. And I would get the engagement going on that post. So people will start commenting. People will start liking. People will start sharing. And yeah, you'll have to micromanage that because as a person comments, you want to be able to reply. Mm-hmm. But I would, I would, I would think that would be more effective than than this call now feature, okay. because people, people, people that that are super, super ready. Of course, they're they're looking right. You got the you got that piece of the market as well. Those mm-hmm. those buyers that are freaking hungry that have been putting in freaking offers and everything's getting rejected and those are hungry people that will actually click and call now. And that's who you're obviously looking for. But then there's a handful of people also that that may just have some questions. That's an engagement. I've only, had, I've only had one person call and he went to go view the property. I had open houses over the weekend. Mm-hmm. And I'm just thinking because it was the first weekend, like nobody showed up. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. um, I'm just trying to get people to notice my my listing or, you know, I guess. I would so. run engagement. I would run engagement. I'd get people commenting. I'd get people sharing that post. Where do I, how do I do that? Let's turn off these. Let's X out and let, let's shut these off. I don't want you to spend no more money on, on these ones. So yeah, do one at a time. So click that blue and then sh- and then click on the middle tab, add sets for one campaign and shade that one to blue. So click on the middle tab. No, 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 no. Click on the middle tab, add sets for one campaign. It's all about these tabs and then shade that one to gray and then click on the third tab and shade that one to gray. That's how you properly turn off an ad. You do one, one tab at a time. Okay. Okay. And then you, un- and then you, you, you X out that one selected, one selected, one selected, start from the right hand, the right side and go to the left. <clears throat> yeah. Do the middle one, uncheck that one, one selected. And then the first tab campaigns, uncheck this one. Perfect. And then now do the same with that just listed. We'll, we'll be able to run that same post, but we're going to just do engagement, not traffic. <clears throat> so let's get, let's get the, let's get that, that area commenting let's get them engaged let's get them sharing it let's let let's get that that post to go viral with a ton of likes and comments <clears throat> and and what you'll want to do is you'll want to just you know reply back and and that that reply will lead to a, a super interested person and that conversation would lead to the dm where you're asking for their phone number okay right so so that's what i would do for sure with with this with when there's no when there's no landing page engagement and, and when it's a listing, when it's a listing engagement, for sure. So let's click on the green one. I'll walk you through this. Click on the green one and um, go to your Facebook page real quick. We're going to use that one at the top, right? So I want to use, I guess, the one I had the most money on to get the most. Yeah, yeah, that, that'd be a good one. Let's, which one was that? Was it this? That list? one was the one that was um, right. It should be right here. Just listed. So go ahead and click on the video. You'll see the the, the metrics or the or the engagement if you click on the video <clears throat> open it up click on it again yeah there we go so this had yeah 167 views um 413 so was it so this was 23 hours ago was this the hundred dollar no that was the 25 dollar one okay so do you want let's so let's let's run the other one then okay okay perfect so <clears throat> the other one was Just or is send, the one below send message Okay, so that that <clears throat> that takes someone straight to click on the actual. Is it just an image? Yeah. Okay. Well, it, you know what? Let me see because I, I thought I had another one that was the actual MLS listing. Hold on. Because mm-hmm. it was up to the prospector. It wasn't just maybe it was a send message, but it was this one, I think. Oh. Where it takes me to my prospector, it takes you straight to the prospector page to show additional photos and features. Yeah, see, so you don't want to take them here, okay. and, and and there's 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 two main reasons, two main reasons why you don't want to take them there. Number one, there's no Facebook pic. Actually, there's a few reasons. Mm-hmm. Number one, there's no Facebook pixel tracking that visit. Number two, there's no custom audience set up. Mm-hmm. So a custom audience are those who actually visited. So you click on my ad, you go to my page, you visited. Not only is my Facebook pixel tracking that, but I'm tracking it by the audience. 
So, so anyone who landed on that page is now in a quote unquote custom audience. And I can take that audience and show them another ad. Okay. So if that page, which that page is not pixeled and it's for sure not set up as a custom audience, don't run it, don't run it to that page. So okay. keep the engagement on Facebook, keep it on that post. If you're not taking them anywhere else, let's, let's just run engagement. So click the green one and then just go, just go engagement. So engagement, and then you're going to scroll down and you're going to the lead generation. Lead generation would, 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 would allow that pop-up form to come up. Like you would okay. use, you would now use Facebook's lead form to capture that lead. So which one do you think would be better? Just engagement, you think? I would, I would, I would go engagement. I would run it for a few days. Yeah, I would, I would for sure run it for a few days because okay. the cost would be, would be, you'd be able to take, depending on what your budget is, majority mm -hmm. of that would go to actual engagement mm -hmm. versus versus spending way more just to get a handful of leads and those right. leads probably won't even have the right information because lead generation with lead generation when you click on it there's already pre information pre-populated information okay. and a lot of times that information is wrong right so that lead will end up clicking and entering wrong information and heather gets a bogus lead Okay. That's why a lot of people don't run lead generation. It's just not, okay. the information is not as accurate. The lead ends up, the person ends up putting the wrong information. Okay. <clears throat> so I would run engagement on this, on this listing because to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm surprised it, it's been sitting this long. How long has it been on the market? Um, four days. Okay. So that's not too, or actually it's is that? Bad, but it's kind of getting to my point where I'm like, hmm. Run engagement, run engagement because I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet that what's today, Tuesday, I'm willing to bet by the end of the week, that damn property is going to be under contract. Well, that's what I'm hoping. That's, that's the whole goal. So. I'm, I'm willing to bet. <laughs> so I wouldn't go lead generation or even conversions to go through all that and set up a custom conversion. There's, there's many more steps that are needed for all these other objectives. Just go engagement, just go engagement, keep and, and look for that next buyer on that, on that post. Do I hit continue? Yes. So now that brings us in where we got to choose housing as a special ad category. And then what you did also is you went on those other ones, you went campaign budget, budget optimization, you turned it on. You're going to, you're going to leave it off. So go ahead and, and hit that drop down, go housing. And then, and then <clears throat> scroll down and this CBO is what we call it. Campaign budget optimization. Keep going. Leave that one off. On the other ones, you had it on. Oh. Okay. okay. You had it on. So leave that one off. Um, now scroll to the very, very top. Super, super important to title your 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 tabs. This is tab one. This is our campaign. So what I normally do is I'll title it that ad, whatever ad that is, slideshow, whatever listing, I'll put the listing, maybe the property address. And then in parentheses, I'll put the actual objective, which is engagement. So maybe, so I'll maybe put the address and then engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the address, um, and then in parentheses put engagement. And then and then maybe put if it's an image or or a video that would help you as well. Right here, you just want it to be short and and very descriptive. So when you look at your dashboard, you know exactly what ad that is. You know, and you did a great you did a great job on titling the other ones. So. This is this is this is the same. You well, know, if so. I did this one, just I I wouldn't want a single image. I just I would want you know a few photos. I don't know how much how many to do, but I would probably prefer a few photos. Or yeah, for I sure. Could probably do the the slideshow if that's better. Um, I have that set up. I can do that too. Yeah, we could do that too. So whatever it may be, that word goes right there. So if it's okay. slideshow, if it's video, if it's multiple images, whatever that word goes there. That's just going to help you in the future. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now next, that's step one. That's the campaign level. That's it. We went housing. We went we went CBO off. We titled our, our thing. We went uh, engagement. That's step one. Click on next, the blue one. And then um, <clears throat> now we go to the ad set level where we're choosing the budget. And, and what I do too on the budget is I'll go lifetime, not daily. I just go lifetime. And it's the same dollar amount. So whatever you plan on spending daily, just just multiply it by whatever, and it's the same amount. So if so we're going go, to spend a hundred dollars total, yeah, spend a hundred bucks total, and then maybe just set a, a the calendar date for maybe ten days, or even seven days. You know, um, 
I would go 10 days, go 10 days. So, and I would always start it. If, if we're, if we're setting up an ad in the morning, normally I'll give Facebook 24 hours to, to approve that ad. But in this case, what I would do is I would say, is, is today the 27th? Yeah. Okay. I would go to tell you the truth. I would, I would start it tomorrow morning. I would go July 28th, 6 a.m. So July 28th, 6 a.m. And then just take it out 10 days and do the same 6 a.m. End, end time. So July 28th. That would take you to, that would take you to the six, to August six. Oh. So. Yeah, and then do and then do six a.m. Perfect. So I always start the ad the next day at six a.m. Um, no matter what time it is, of the day it is right now. So, perfect. So lifetime. There's your ten. So again, it would have been ten dollars a day. Same thing, right? Same budget, it's just lifetime. Lifetime, it just gives Facebook the flexibility to spend it however the hell they want. Some days there's a ton of traffic on Facebook. Some days there's not. But, but and, and on those days that there's not as much traffic on Facebook, if you're going daily, you're still forcing them to spend it because okay. they have to spend it according to your freaking setup daily, right? So I just let them spend it, you know, lifetime. Just <clears throat> there's the calendar, spend it however the hell you want Facebook. So okay. now scroll down. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to go um, locations, go ahead and, and change that location, United States, um, <clears throat> and then age, gender, that stays the same. We cannot change that. Um, and then <clears throat> what I would, you could leave the check mark. It's not, it's not the check marks, nothing. Just X that out and then type in, I would just type in, yeah, X out the United States to the right. And then what I would do is I would type in, go people. And, and there's people coming from all over the place. So I would, I wouldn't, normally we would go people living in this location, but no, in this case, today's market, it's people living. I'm trying in, to reach Bay Area too. Yeah, exactly. So people living in or recently in this location, that would kind of be the best, the best one. People living in or recently, that top one, that first one that you have. Okay, so that's what I have. Yeah, so that one's, that one's fine. Um, and then what I would do is locations is, yeah, you could target, you could target, you could target the Bay if you wanted to, you could target them and target this local area. That's what I'm wanting to do. Yeah, yeah do that then type in. And here's what I would do though, uh -huh. because it, because the minimum is a 15 mile radius minimum, yeah. right? I would type in the address. So an address of the actual listing, the address of the actual listing, and then an address in the Bay. Okay, I just kind of lost my train of thought real quick on the address. So hold on, twenty one eighty nine. Okay, twenty one eighty nine. So now we're going out fifteen miles from that address, and you always want to see the drop down as well. That's what's super important. As you're typing it in, always look for that drop down. Is it? It's not coming up. Do I just click on something? No. Um. Maybe, maybe, maybe go on and put the zip code. So CA dash or space. And then let's see, try putting in the zip code and see if it. Bam, there it is. See how you got to You got to go, got to kind of go a little further. And then sometimes as you type in the whole damn thing, if it still doesn't populate, then hit backspace, hit backspace one, two, three times. And then, and then you'll see the drop down. Always go with the drop down. And then for, uh, if I want to reach everybody, like I'm, I'm wanting to hit like, Fremont, um, San Jose. I type mean, it in. Know. Type it in. You can either type in the city or you can type in an actual address. Okay. So, so if you got to go on and, and, and hit and, and type in the zip code. I don't know what the zip code is for Fremont. Maybe it's just one E. There we go. Can I just put it like this, I guess? Actually, the top one, Fremont, California, United States. Okay. There we go. You can go off of that one. Perfect. Okay. And I mean, I can just, you know, um, I obviously, I'm not sure about these people. You know, I, I want to mm -hmm. try to reach these people too. You can, okay, then take that 15 up, the radius, the 15 miles, take that 
yeah take that to 25 take it to 30 take you can okay. go to 50 see if it takes you see if it takes you east well that's a good one and then i don't want to do this one at least you know 50 miles see so if that's the case you could just delete one of them you could probably just delete yeah. san jose because that fremont's going to cover everything and I, I can I adjust, I can move these, the bubbles. Like if I wanted to do like a little bit of, let me put Sacramento. You can drop a pin. You could drop a pin. So click on drop pin or you could type it in whatever, but okay. that drop a pin, drop pin, the bottom right of the map. Yeah, click on that and then click wherever you want. And I'm doing everything, you know, just to see what it is. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, that seems okay. And you have, and there's overlap right there, right? There's overlap, but, but at the same time, I mean, it is what it is. But sometimes you want to, you want to be able to, to make, and all of them are at fifty. So there's going to be, there, there's, there's going to be overlap, which, which is, which is not a bad, bad thing. But if you could have just went with one, and it covered everything, then that would have been more ideal. Just FYI for the future, in the future, right? So. If you if you end up doing this again in the future, then try to maybe just get one and 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 take that out fifty miles and see if that covers everything. Okay. Which which in this case, I think we're gonna need. I think we're gonna maybe the the um the Modesto one. What if, is that? Are they yeah, yeah. like if you took that one to fifty, would that go left to San Jose? I mean, almost, but not quite, if that makes sense. So yeah, I guess yeah, so we still we still kind of need them. That's fine. That's fine. Well, can I just, I'm going to delete this one and then draw the pin, I guess, maybe. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, try that. Okay, so what was that one? That one was... That three is... Take, take this one off and then draw pin and zoom in and get like right here. Bam, that's better. That's much better. Should I yeah. um, make this? Smaller? Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, and I'll take it up to Frisco. Right. It'll take it into into um. I think it'll take it east, but it'll it should also take it north. If this you, one. If you yeah, if you extend the miles. I think that was fifteen miles. Let me. Right there, yeah. That's a that's a huge area, Heather. I would I would stay with that. I would I would stay with that. Okay. Should I put San Francisco or not really? Type it in. Yeah, type it in. Yeah, you could and just go fifteen miles. That 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 might that might work. Okay. Perfect. 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 Really cool. Oh yeah. That's, that's see how that's much better. See the San Jose one doesn't overlap too much of the mm -hmm. big circle, which I don't know which one that is, but the big, that one's big the man, where the property location is that one was the Manteca, California one. Gotcha. Yeah. See, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, cool. And so in the future, in the future, you may want to want to want to stay with this type of targeting, right? Because you're licensed in both states, right? And and you do you do you're doing business. You're gonna you're gonna be crushing it in both in both states. So if anything, let's save this audience. So scroll down. You'll see gender. Um, you have you have automatic placements. You have actually go back up real quick. Do you see where did it go? Well, and we're not gonna we're not gonna go detail targeting. You had all those keywords on the last one. We're not gonna do any keywords on this one. Okay. We're not gonna do any keywords. We want everyone and their mother to see this property because in housing you can no longer change age. So it's like shit. Like, let, just let everyone, especially for the amount of money. Like, what else can we put a hundred bucks towards? True. Like, come on. Like, really? When it, you know, offline, online marketing, whatever. A hundred bucks. It's like, damn. Let me, let everyone see my damn post. Right. Yeah. So that's how I look at it when it comes okay. to like local business, smaller that's business. Good to know because I was like, okay, maybe it, it'll hit people who are looking for homes. So if I just leave it with nothing, it should, it'll 
Give it's it's going to hit everyone. Yeah, it's going to hit everyone. Um, you only narrow it down with keywords when you're when you're marketing a product nationwide. Gotcha. So if you're marketing nationwide and and there's freaking 300 plus million people in this country alone, I have to narrow it narrow down the words because I don't want everyone everyone. I have to narrow it down. But if I'm just like marketing to a local area, a specific area, in this case, it's 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 multiple little areas. I don't put any keywords. Okay. Okay. Just leave it, leave it open. But um, normally click on show more options right there below languages. And maybe even narrow down the, the languages as well. Maybe go to um, English all, if anything, it's up to you, but normally I do. I'll, I'll click on languages and I'll go English all. I was looking for the saved audience um, little button. I think it's a, I think it's a buff, but type in English and then go with the drop down English all. And you just scroll scroll up real quick. Normally, there's a save audience. Uh, oh, I think it was. Oh, I think it might be up. Go up a little bit. Up, 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 up. You Facebook's see? always okay. freaking changing shit. Um, but normally, there's normally we're allowed to save this audience that we just created, but that's fine. We'll we'll be able to come back to it and know we'll we'll always have this ad to to go back and reference. So. Okay. That's fine. Scroll down. So we got budget. We're, we're, we're good there. We got the targeting. We're good there. Um, scroll down, scroll down. And then we're going to leave it on. I would leave it on automatic placement. Leave it on automatic placement. Let Facebook place that ad everywhere. Let them place it everywhere. Let them just go crazy with it. Leave it on automatic placement. So scroll down and then just click on next. That's it. Perfect. So that's, that's step two. That's your ad set. So now over here, we're going to come and we're going to use existing post. And you can you can choose, if that's not the one, you can choose any other post. This is um, the post it's on. Is that right? Oh, use existing post. Use existing post. Um, yeah, click on that. I have the call now button on it. Did I need to change that? No, that call now button will be there. But it's not a call now ad anymore. It's now just engagement. Now, because there's a call now button, that's also part of engagement. Engagement is to get people to engage. So and engaging, when call now, is it going to go to that call on uh, that? Yeah, yeah. The number that you have. FaceTime, right? I, didn't, I wanted to go like just a regular call. I prefer not FaceTime, but. <laughs> let, me, um, let me test it. Let me test it on my end. Okay. Let me, um, I'll go to your post and just click on it and see what, what, it, what it does. Okay. So call now I click on call. Yeah. See, that's awesome. It just, it, it, it gives me up. No, there is no FaceTime. It just, and I have an iPhone as well. So it, it just, I click on call now and then boom, your phone number pops up Okay. Cool. and I just click on it and, and I can call you. Okay. Really cool. Okay, cool. So the button's there. Yeah, for sure. The button's going to stay there. And, and that's also a form of engagement is getting people to click, getting people to comment, getting people to share, getting people to freaking hit the button, call now. That's mm -hmm. engagement. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you actually get calls from this as well, because that is engagement. Mm -hmm. So do I need to uh, change this name or something? Yeah, it's, it's always good to, to title your, your tabs. So this one, I normally just put the same one as, as I did on, on number one. So the first one, you just put the listing. That's fine. Will people see this name or should I not? No, that's that? all internal. Okay. Yeah, they don't see that. Okay. And what did I have in parentheses again? I forgot. You put engagement, but you don't have to do it on this one. This is the okay. third tab. So this is not the objective tab. Just okay. the first tab is the objective tab. And that's why engagement, the key, the word is, is important on that first tab. Okay. But not here. That's fine. Um, so now scroll down. So that's the Instagram account. We're using existing post. Um, and you can always change the post as well. So if, if this was not the existing post that we wanted to use, click on change post and go find that other post. Um, and then if you scroll down, there's the call now button. So that that's already there. Um, and you cannot change it because we're using an existing yeah. post, right? Okay. So um, that's it. You click on publish. And that ad, you'll get an email later on today from Facebook saying that your ad is um, scheduled or running. Your, your Facebook ad is scheduled or running. That's the title of the email that you'll get from Facebook later on. And when you get that ad, you know it, it approved. So 
don't know. Run with that one. Garbage. Okay. What's that? I said, I don't know why all of these just popped up as on. I don't know about all these are. Those. Yeah, those are just all previous ones that you never shaded gray. I would, I would shade them all gray. Get in the habit of shading ads that are off, turn them to gray. Even mm -hmm. though they're off and, and they're not spending money, even though they're blue, just, you know, just, just when it comes to co color coordination, as you start to look at a ton of these ads, you want to just be able to look at it right away and know it's on or off. And when you're looking at it, when I'm looking at it and it's, and it's blue, I, I, I think it's on. You know, even though it's off, so just kind of get in the habit of shading those, turn those I off. I don't know about this one. If, if this is, is this the one that I was using? That says campaign off, so I'll turn it. Okay, on. That one's off. So the first, yeah, the top one, leave that one on. Okay, this is. Interview. And then click on your middle tab. See if any of those are, are blue. Yeah, so these ones, and then leave that first one. So the first one already approved. That's the ad set level. That's the budget, the targeting. It already says scheduled. Actually, what was red? We just saw something was red. Okay, so check. Let's um, check the box of the scheduled one. That's the one that we just set up. Your ads weren't published because they had, okay, so, okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll turn those off. They're just because they were on previously. So check this box to the left, the one that, that's that's in review. This one. Actually, you know what? You're on the you're on the third tab. Click on the first tab, campaigns, uncheck it and go to campaigns. Check it from here. So check the box. Yeah. And then click on the middle tab. So it's scheduled here. It's scheduled there. You don't have to check the box. Okay. And then click on the, the third the third tab. Okay, so it's in review here. Okay, perfect. So that's that's that. So review and publish, click on that real quick. The the blue button at the top, review and publish too. Let's just clear this out real quick. So this is yeah, these were these oh, were see if you could um see if you could try to publish. Yeah, you have two ad sets. I mean, this isn't gonna affect anything. These are just from previous ads, not turned off the right way. Please okay. fix the errors before you click. The publish. So click on uh, try to publish items with errors. See if it allows you to. And if not, no big deal. But check that box and then click on the green one, publish. Yeah, so it's just asking you to update it, but no big deal. That's not affecting anything. Okay. So that's that, Heather. That's an engagement ad. Um, ultimately, in the future, if it's not a listing or an open house and you're running ads to keep your pipeline full, because that's what I, I coach agents on today is just how to keep your pipeline full with, with listings. And that's when you're running ads every, every week, giving away a seller guide, like just giving away information, getting people to click and download your free PDF. That's what it's all about. And I'm eventually going to get there, um, you know, with you as soon as I get yes, my life. For sure. Because I'm, I'm going to go, you know, hit the ground and running as soon as I'm good to go. It's just, I got to get there. So I'll and, there and get soon. back to your videos. You were crushing it with videos. You're yeah. very good. You were, you're really good with video. Get back to practicing your videos mm -hmm. and, and, and just doing simple, friendly videos on your cell phone, walking around the neighborhood, talking about a current property, keeping it simple, authentic, the real Heather, nothing right. fancy, no green screen, not even in, in, in indoors, get out. And, and because when you see those type of videos, on social media where the background is is the out that's why a lot of people do videos as they're walking on their cell phone a lot of people will do videos in the car as they're driving because the background attracts it, it's attractive it gets people to be like okay well shit where's she walking or what is she doing or you know it right. it's the it, it's that movement that causes people to sit there and watch okay you know so yeah, getting out get my texas license where i'm gonna be Game time. Help me out 100. Let's so. do it. I'm gonna. Where I'm at now is I don't. I don't do it for people anymore. I simply teach you to do it yourself. Oh. Okay. So that that's where I'm at with my whole coaching now. Is I I there's a handful of coaching calls where I just teach you how to run these ads from A to Z the right way. And normally engagement's not even really an ad we we normally run. It's it's normally conversions because we're looking to capture consistent leads throughout the month. So I would teach you how to run conversion ads. Um, but yeah, get everything situated and then stay in touch. And let me know yes. how this ad goes. I'll, I'll, tr I'll, I'll look at this ad over the next few days as well. I want to see, I'm curious on how the engagement is on this ad as well. So I'll look at, I'll be looking at your page here over the next few days. Okay, cool. And cool. then do I, um, uh, you know, can I like 
pay you for these services or something. Because- Don't even worry about it. This is one, this one engagement. What I want, what I want to do is I want to coach you. Yeah. When you're ready, I want to coach you on how to run all this damn stuff yourself. I 100% and down yeah. for that. So yeah. Get your license and then, and then we'll go from there. Okay. That sounds great. So we're good. Everything's we're good. good we're good. Let that bad boy run and, and just stay up with the comments that are going to be coming in. Cause, cause on that budget, you're going to have, you're going to have people comment. People Is will be sharing a good schedule budget for it normally. For yeah, that's state. fine. That's for sure. That's yeah. 10 bucks a day is, is really what it is. That that's, that's good enough to get people engaged, get okay. people in the, in these areas that we're targeting, getting them to comment. Hey, nice property. Hey, tell me more. And, and then also what's really good too, just in the future, FYI mm-hmm. is when you're running engagement is to get people actually, you know what? You don't even have to do it in the text. You can just be the first one to comment. So as actually you can do it right now, go to the post, go to the post real quick on your Facebook, on your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And then, and then comment below, comment below and just get people to tag. Like you could, you could, you could be a reply or you could be a comment, like comment below the actual post. Yeah. Where is it at? Go to it and and just comment and just put, Hey, everyone, this property is not going to last tag a friend who you think would love it. Okay. And and make that be a comment. I think it was this one because it had the link clicks versus this one. I don't know why there's two, but um, there's the, the call now. But see, it says 10 people reach zero engagements. And then there's another one that says 46 engagements, 414 people reached five link crew. But that was boosted yesterday. So I don't know which one I would comment on. Shit, comment on both of them. Comment on both of them. And, and we'll see over the next 24 hours, which, which one it is. Um, they just say, you know, comment or sh- comment. Com- and sh- yeah. Yeah. Comment and share comment, comment, um, comment, comment and tag a friend who you think would love this property. And then people start tagging their friends. That's an engagement ad, you know? So Normally we would put that in the, in the actual text above, but, but that's fine. It could be right there and people will still see it. Comment and tag a friend who you think would love this, this, this property. Perfect. And then I'll, I'll take a look at it over the next few days and, and see if I can, if I can add, add any more advice on it and we'll go from there. Okay. That sounds good. I mean, I, yeah. I usually do everything mobile anyway, so it's, it's a little difficult whenever I'm on my computer, but yeah. I put it on there. I'll look to see, you know, which one is running. Um, it should have, um, it, it should tell me once it's approved, right? Yes. At least, and then, yes. but then it'll start tomorrow, whichever one was. Yes, tomorrow, for right? sure. Okay. It will. Cause are they identical? I think so. And let me look on my phone because, um, I should only have one, so I'm not really sure. Here's what you can do real quick. Go back to um, the ads manager. Go back to the ads manager. Here's what we're going to do. Go back to the ads manager. Let me show you how to, how to, how to view your ads in real time. Yeah. Go to the ads manager. No, the other tab at the top 88%. Click on that one. Wait, which one? The tab at the top. You're um, publishing 88%. The tab that's open. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, no worries. And then, um, Let's refresh this page real quick. X out of this one selected, the, the campaign tab, one selected. X, yeah, uncheck that. And then just refresh the page. Okay, let me see which video. Yeah, for some reason I got two of them, but I think it was because one of them was, but I don't know which one I need to delete and which one is going to be re- put, published tomorrow. So I, we'll I see. We'll, we'll see right now. So check the box on the first one. And then let's click on the third tab ads ads for one campaign yeah click on that one this is how you view your ad in real time so right below the title you're going to click on edit so 2189 sanctuary way click on edit this will tell us right here so now right there in the middle of the page you see nine placements to the right of that so to the right right above all these images there's that drop down that square that dropped to the right, right there. Click on that and then click on the bottom Facebook desktop newsfeed. So this just this uh, this is just gonna give us a live, a live view of the ad in real time. So we scroll through our news feed, we're just seeing what our friends are up to, and then all of a sudden we come across a sponsored ad. So it's it's this one. 
And it says demo, is that right? It, it won't say that once the ad goes live. Okay, okay. So does that help? And, and see, hit the comment. What comment is there? Click on, um, was that the one that you just put? Yeah. Yeah, so does that help at all know which one it is? I, I put both. Click on the video. Click so on the actual video. One, this one's got one like, so let that I can look at it from there, I guess. So Click on the actual video as well. Open up the video. See if you can expand it. Like normally when you click on it, it, it opens it up. Um, okay. okay, so that's giving you a different view of it. Just That's fine. You can just minimize this. So if anything, this this could have been the other one okay. with with no um yeah this yeah so if anything that could have been the one that did not have all the engagement so i'm going to delete the top one that's not that's yeah. not um because i have one like on that one and this one i have no like on so i'm going to you know what i wouldn't even i wouldn't even trip out i wouldn't even trip on it heather like i i wouldn't because let them both get engagement. That first one, if it has all those engagement, that's fine. But this one right here, since we're running engage, the other one was traffic. With this engagement, we're going to blow by those other numbers in no time anyways. Okay. Yeah, I don't I even think it matters. Them. Leave them both. We got to get I, this I, damn I thing sold. <laughs> all right. Hopefully it was, it was the one that's not live. Or yeah, one- it was because the other one, the one that's on there now, if you look on my, um, on my page, it's got the one perfect 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 so that's the right one awesome well cool cool Cool. heather get this going good and i I really appreciate your help and you're so so welcome working with you later (laughs) yes kick ass get that license and and stay in touch absolutely thank you heather talk to you soon bye-bye